obviously you and Kelly both went to, to Ren High School. What is your connection? What is your relationship? With, uh, I think it's important that coach too. What's your relationship? Yeah, I mean, first off, I would just say that's my brother. You know, we grew up sort of together and went to high school, and and uh, he went to Clemson, and then I came here. So we've been we've been training together for a while, and it's been um, just amazing to see how our relationship has uh, moved forward. As close as y'all are, when the time came and he needed to make a decision about what he wanted to do four games in last year, did he talk to you? Did you have a conversation with him at any point? Not really about that. Not really about that. I think he was confident in what his decision making skills. So I think more of it was just um, giving him space and allowing him to just I'm not a guy that's going to just come and, and call him or text him whenever adversity hits you know I'm going to be there for him regardless whether it's you know just a normal Tuesday you know in 11th grade or you know when he has to make that decision I'm going to be there regardless of the situation. Jay have you guys talked this week? You and Kelly? Yeah we text a little bit. Does he still do some of the things you watch him do growing up you know or has he kind of changed his game a little bit or is he still kind of the same? Yeah I think he he's evolved a lot. He's he's progressed, and just like any quarterback, you know, you want to you want to evolve, you want to progress, and you want to get better. And I think he's really he's really done that over his years. What have you said about Missouri so far? Being out there, have you had a conversation this season since he's been out there playing? Yeah, he likes it. He's he's really enjoying it. And you know, for him, the big thing is wherever he goes, he's a light. You know, he's a light, and he's going to shine bright. And his personality is big, and wherever he goes, people follow him. So um, I'm not surprised by that. What do you think is big? When he was waiting his decision, did he talk to you about you know? Some feedback from SEC schools, or do you make no, that? sir. When, have you been able to actually watch him play much at all? I know you'll probably be focused on watching their defense, but have you been able to see him? Uh, not really, other than just on Twitter. Sometimes I would see his highlights and and see a couple things like that. But I wasn't really trying to to really. I don't really have the time with us playing to do that. Jay, have you wrapped an all defense through these first no. three weeks? Yes, yeah, what have you seen of this? I guess Ryan through his yeah. first two starts. I, I'm very impressed. Um, I think he's a good guy off the field, and that just translates to the field. You know, I was always confident in him, and, and just um, that confidence has grown. What's impressed you most about his play on the field? I think his confidence. I think his confidence coming there as a freshman and, and do what he's done is, is really impressive. I think his accuracy is good, and just a lot of things that I've always known about him since he got here. Let's just put on the show. It seems like he wasn't really phased at all about the mystique of Alabama. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody was really. I think, I think you know, we were just focusing on on prep, prep, preparing the right way, and you know, whether it's Alabama or whoever we play, we're just going to focus one one game at a time and treat it like everybody has the same face. Have you seen out of Missouri so far? I guess in the film that you have been able to watch. Yeah, they're they're a great team. Um, they're aggressive and they they get after the quarterback and um, you know switch up the coverages and they're just an overall solid team that we're going to have to you know be ready to play our best game against. Was it, was it in the quarterback camps that y'all do, or I know you came in after he left? But I mean, what? How did you initially form that relationship? Other than just you were the quarterback. And yeah, about yeah. I think um, through Coach Ramon Robinson, my my, my my past quarterback coach and my, my continual quarterback coach, we uh, sort of trained together, and then from that, you know, it was I went to Ren, and then he was leaving Ren. So from that, it sort of just grown. Has there been any kind of frustration or disappointment in practices because? The season hasn't started the way you guys wanted. I don't think disappointment. I think I think it. The better word is just you know we're desperate. You know, like Coach Muschamp says, and and that's the word we're sort of going going for. Um, we're not disappointed. We we know we could have done better, but we're just focused on the next game and 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 going one and zero this week. Is there anything different about kind of looking forward to a game against a Kelly Bryant led team, except instead of Clemson, it's it's Missouri? I think it. it every game's sort of the same, but obviously whenever you know you're. You're really good, good friends with the other opposing quarterback. It's, you know, it's it's definitely a little different, but um, you know, it doesn't really change preparation-wise for me. He's running less than he, he used to. Have you talked to him at all about that? If, it, if how much he kind of likes that sort of different approach, or not really? We haven't talked about that and in, in specifically, but yeah. Have you talked to Jake since his surgery? Yeah, we texted. Mm -hmm. He's doing good. He's doing good. How about? Yeah, um, I think he's he, he's really handled the situation very well, and I'm so proud of him for that because I've always known that about him too. He's not only a great quarterback, but he handles himself off the field very, very well. And um, our friendship has grown over the years. You know, I've been here for a while now, and just being able to see how he's handled that and, and been – I was able to be a brother for him through this time too. So I've, I've really been impressed with how he's handled everything. I guess a lot of players have talked about this team being desperate heading into mm -hmm. What is – because what does a desperate team kind of look like? What are some characteristics of one of those? I think grit is a big, big characteristic. I think um, just going after it, you know, and, and not really, um, you know, 
tiptoeing, but going after what we want. You know, we're, we're desperation is just something you just got to have. And I think that's sort of the, sort of the mindset that we have. How has Jake continued to, what, what's his role now? How has he continued to help you guys from a leadership standpoint? Yeah, I mean, I'm not obviously in the quarterback room uh, right now, so I don't really am in that situation, but I know he's he's sort of out there and encouraging the guys Ryan to carry on and getting them ready to play, whether it's mentally or, or you know, advice on the game during the field. A few weeks in, how is life in the receiver room? It's good, man. It's it's uh, solid. It's, it's still an adjustment, but, you know, I'm growing and I'm getting better. And that's what I have to focus on, just every day getting better at, at my craft and learning from the guys ahead of me. What's the biggest difference in playing receiver in, in a real game as uh-huh. opposed to just practice or spring game? I don't think it's anything really different. You know, once you get out there, it's like right, one play, and then you sort of get back into the normal routine, you know, whether it's one minute, whether it's, you know, first and ten. You know, Coach Muschamp puts us in great situations to be prepared for the game. Yes, you probably prepared and done installs for road games. How does install for that change? Offensively, knowing that you're probably going to face a little bit more crowd noise. I don't think it changes too much. Um, you know, we have the crowd noise at practice, and um, we really focus on that and being able to execute whenever you know things aren't aren't going our way and there's crowd noise. But game plan wise, I don't think it changes too much. You don't try to simplify anything communication wise. I don't think so. Like no. Did they talk to you about moving back to the quarterback room after Jake's injury? To be the third guy. Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. I'm the third guy, and, and I'm just you know getting a lot of reps. Um, on Sunday practices and and um, really just be preparing then um, for you know something happen I'll be ready to play quarterback so that's sort of where I'm at. Anything else?